Concentric constraint. Concentric constraints forces either an arc or a circle to use the same center point. So what we're going to do is I have two circles here. I'm going to come up to my concentric constraint. I'm going to select this big zero, uh, or big circle down here at the origin, with this center point at the origin. And so I selected it. So this is going to take on the the same center point as the first one. So when I pick on the second one, it picks up the same center point as the first one. So the concentric constraint forces any arc or circle to share the same center point. The first one is the master. The first one selected is the master location.